What's up, PB Squad? Welcome back to my channel. So today, as y'all can see by the size, but we are about to do today. So today we, um, not we. I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube banner for your channel and also a advanced intro. This is only for iPhone users. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So what you're gonna do first? Oh yeah, the only app you're going to need is Fonto. The only app you're gonna need is Fonto to make your YouTube banner. So first you're gonna go on Safari, type in purple Louis Vuitton wallpaper. You can use any background you want and I'm gonna use this one and press save and add to photos. Then go on Fonto and then click plain images and click the number up here and press customize and type in 2560 and for the bottom 423 and then and I'm gonna press arrow up here no not save press use and click the three line down here and press add photos and then you can suppress oh my god these ads okay once you select your image you're going to press done and then you're going to press size and then size it up and then you're going to press image again press tilt and then tilt it and make sure that it covers the white spot Alright, so once you have that, you're going to press R button and press save image. Alright, so for my banner, I won't be using any pictures. So you're going to press, and you're going to press reset now. And then you're going to add plain, no, not plain images. You're going to go in photos. press done and once you have that you need to write your youtube name my youtube name is now princess brianna and then you're going to select your font i'm not sure what type of font i want to use I think I want to use like the italic one of them okay we're gonna use Jill Sands bold italic we wanna size it down And put it up here and then I'm gonna press the image again and then type in back your name and I'm gonna press style I'm gonna use black I think I want to change this font. I 
Yeah, that's better. So guys, I changed the font for the white one. It's called Lime. Let me show you all. It's called Limelight. And for this font, it's called Great Vibes. So what you're going to do now, you're going to press on image again and like type in the type of things you like doing on your channel. So I do beauty. tutorials let's change the font for this i'm not sure which font yet i'm just work with that for now hold on no that's not what that's not what i want to do so you're gonna have beauty i'm using whole filler text italic no i don't want that um i can like choose any font that you want Oh, I like this. I'm gonna wanna size it down and then we'll tilt it a little. Press again, you're gonna press tutorials. Not press tutorials, like route tutorial, the word. This is really a simple banner. This is not like really nothing. Y'all have the one where you like put your pics, but I don't want that one. That's the first one I had the last time. I want to like change it up a little. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's not it. Then you're gonna press save images, and now you're going to go on Safari and type in YouTube banner template, and then. Click it and then add to photos. You go back in front of, press the camera, press plain images, press up here and press custom. And now you're going to change the numbers. Now you're going to press 2560 and you're going to use 1440 and press done. Then press use image. Then you go on the two lines, three lines over there, press add photos. You're gonna press the template that you just saved and you're gonna add it and make sure that it is on the right size wait hold on i messed it up uh remove i messed it up because i press Okay, you want to get the correct ratio. I'm like really focused right now because that one messed this up. Alright, then you're gonna press add photos again and then add the banner that you just made. At the same size. You're gonna know different sizes and width, y'all. I'm sorry for the nice guys. I'm real sorry. There's some things on. Anyways, y'all didn't ask. And once everything is lined up, if you think it is perfect, and if it's ready, you're gonna press, 
you're gonna press the um template and then press remove no not move. you're gonna go on here and press remove and you're gonna save it and that's it for the banner so that's the banner guys and we're gonna move on to the exciting part which is how to make a a what guys a what a youtube intro so yeah all right y'all so first how we're going to do we'll go on princess Pinterest, yeah and we are going to type type in pink city aesthetic aesthetic I'm going to use, um, I think I like this one. Y'all can choose any one that y'all want to use. Oh, that's not how you save it. Download image. Close. And then you're going to go on Fonto. Press plain image. Custom. All right, y'all. So, go and press plus line. Go down to the bottom. Then press go to transparent. And go in stickers. And then type in frame. Type in picture frame. I don't know what I'm going to use. Oh, I'm going to use this one. And then you're going to type, I'm going to press effects. Wait, hold on. You're going to save this one first. And then go and press colors. And then save it like that also so now we have our frames y'all gonna see what kind of intro this is the advanced intro when i say advanced advanced intro y'all all right so now we're gonna go back into cap cut all right yeah, so right now we're gonna use over layers now and for a cap cut you can only use six over layers and you're gonna have to save and then come back and add whatever you want to add back so now we're gonna go on over layer add over layer go on photos and add the photo that you want to use I'm not sure which I'm gonna use this photo because that I have like yeah and you're gonna size it and no, i'm not going to use this i need like a square because the frame let's use this then i have to go and crop these guys because they're not giving me edit crop So we're going to make it bigger and then we're going to like tilt it you are going to add another over layer and then you're going to add this frame
Y'all. Hold on. Okay. Let's do this. Again. Okay, there we go. Yes, this is what we want. Okay, and now we're gonna press animation. We're gonna press in. We're gonna look for swing. We're gonna put it at 0.9. And then we're going to do the same thing for the frame. I don't think it was swing. It was, yeah, okay, guys, so, it's swing right at 9, do the same thing for the picture. And there we have it. So, I'm going to just adjust this and fix it up so that it is in line and perfect so guys once that is done we're going to press back over layer and add the other picture that y'all want to use and do about the same steps but use a different um use a different swing instead of swing what y'all can swing left so once you're done this is how everything is supposed to look make sure that everything is lined up and there you have it and then I'm gonna press save and done so guys you're gonna come back in here and then you're gonna add in your name and you're gonna put it anyway like where you want it and that's how and then we're gonna go and add animation and then press in and we're gonna use um, shake three we're gonna put it at two seconds and you're gonna add it i don't i'm not sure if this butterfly is going to wear but i'm gonna see i'm gonna go in chrome i got this butterfly off pinterest yeah um i typed in um What's that called? Pink butterfly transparent background. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I'm just trying something. 
Oh, it works. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna small it down. I'm gonna put it right here. They're gonna always be a clip right here. It's just always remember it's deleted so it doesn't save. So go back to the butterfly now. It's gonna press animation. You're gonna use wiper. I'm gonna put it at 2.3. And this held the whole. This is the first part of the video. So here we go. And then you're just gonna save that. Alright y'all, so this is time for the second part of the video. So you're going to go on photo grid, then press grid. You're going to add it to of your favorite videos. I'm going to add this one. And this one. Press next. And then you're gonna press ratio, then press the YouTube one, and then layout. I wanna change the layout to this because it's giving a re it's giving a vibe like instead of the straight line. And then you're gonna press the grid and exit off. So we're going to um crop like if it's not crop trim if it's like two different video and one is longer than the other seven point one seven point one then press save and then we go into font tool reset go on plain images press custom Press one two eight zero for the top part and seven seven two zero. Use press Wait, hold on, I think I did something wrong. Hold on y'all. Oh okay, okay. I see what I did wrong. Okay, let's do this again. Come right here and go on color. Then we're going to pick this color. Then apply. Come right here and press back the same two numbers that I told y'all. 1280, 720. Then use. And then press save. If y'all are hearing background noises, I'm real sorry. But I hope y'all can hear me properly. Then go in cap cut, press new project. We're gonna press the video that we saved from photo grid. There we have it. And then we're gonna press over layer and use the pink background, use pink picture that we just used, and then just fill it in. Oh, guys, hold on. You see, for this line these okay let me just do it for y'all again let's just do this again so i don't confuse y'all let's go back and for the border you don't want any white lines and then just save it i don't want to confuse y'all because you want no white lines to be there 
then go back in CapCut. Let's delete this because we don't need that. New project. See that now you don't have no white lines there. And then I'm gonna press over layer. The pink. And then just place it all over. Now look for capacity. And put it at 70. Okay, I wanna put it down more. Okay. You guys can put it anywhere that um is that works best for you. I'm put it at sixty-seven. Remember to always delete this clip right here. Alright y'all, so once you have your video now we're gonna press over layer. And then you're going to add your images. And I'm going to crop this. So that the frame. Wait, hold on. So that the frame can fit. I'm going to put it on this side. make sure that it's at the end it fits I need to see if the frame is going to fit or not Okay, let's crop this image a little more. And put it right here so that it can fit. Add over layer again. Use your next image. And this one we have to crop crop, like really crop crop. I don't know if this one even fit. Okay, yeah, I have to use another image. I can't use this. Let's use this photo. And tilt it. Over there. You can use about the same frame. And I'm going to crop the image because I want it to fit. Why did I let it rotate? Okay. So for this image, you're going to go on animation, press in, and you're going to use swung. No, not swung. I mean swing. Is it swing or was it swung? Hold on, y'all. Okay, it was swing, guys. I'm not sure what I used. Okay, guys, it was swing. And I'm going to put it to 
suckers. We want to do the same thing for the frame. Swing. Okay, it's two point two for this, and two point two. And now for this image, you want to use. Was it swing bottom or swing left? Put it at 2.2 guys, I'm not sure yet. Okay, so use swing left guys. And for the animation for the frame, for the second frame, use back the same. And, oh. Hold on, it's not this. Okay, there we go. 2.2. And now we're going to go on effects, go on mood, and we're going to look back for the same metamorphosis. Per, yes. And now we want to save that. And now we're going to add our Instagram name. And we're going to put it right here. Now let's do animations now. So for Instagram, we're going to use a flip. Put it at 2.1. And for my Instagram name, guys, I'm sorry for the background noise. Noise, I'm real sorry. For Insta, from my username, we're gonna use shake three. Okay guys, so the video that we just edited, we're going to save it, then you're going to press new project, add, and that's what we just did, and then we're going to press over layer again, and then picture, we're going to add our icon, I got this icon of Safari, Oop, what did I just do? Alright y'all, so for the Instagram now, once you set it where you want it, 
you're gonna want animations press in and then we're going to look for blinds no it wasn't blinds was it blinds it was wiper y'all wait guys i'm not sure what i used okay it was rolled right okay i'm gonna put it at two point two seconds and that's it for this clip and then we save Alright y'all, so the video that we see, this right here, oh, this is not the video, oh yeah, is this the video, I think this is the video, okay well, this was the video, okay, so we're gonna add effect on pay modes add the metamorphosis and then just save that so once that's saved you go back on it add it and then you want to add an overlay. So you're going to choose a video. No, I'm going to use this video. And I'm going to tilt it. And I'm going to add it. This is too long. If I need to crop it, I'll crop it. So what you're going to do, you're going to add a phone over there. So you're going to go on Safari and type in whatever type of phone you have. You type in the phone that you have. And then you're going to add green screen. So I have a 6S, so you type in 6S green screen. Add it all the way. And then we're going to go and chrome and take out the green. You're gonna wait, no, not you. Why is it doing that?